That's right. Good job. Treated by someone so tenderly. Hope you guys are doing great. It is a little brisk, a little cold today. Uh, you doing okay? You frozen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got one dropped off at gymnastics. We don't normally do this much running around at these temperatures, but we have stuff to do. Uh, we're gonna go get her checked out to see if we can get that uh, anti-nausea patch. See if that's like a thing. But my goodness. Okay, let's get inside here. It's so cold. I don't know if you guys have ever driven these temperatures, but it is so cold that you just let your cars run. Um, otherwise, if you turn them off too long, they will not turn back on. And when you're driving around, it is, uh, it's is—it's pretty crazy because your brakes freeze. So you almost have to stop by not hitting your brakes. Definitely an experience. Okay, I'm going to open this quickly. All right, we're going to get this done. Check out you guys in a bit. How are you doing today? I am wonderful. And yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Right there. I'm going on roller coasters or something? Not going on roller coasters, but like going on airplane rides. Oh, that's not. Driving in a car. Okay. Are you going on a trip or what brings you in today? Really bad motion sickness. Like, it's pretty severe. All the time? Yeah. Okay. On, on okay. planes mostly, yeah. but sometimes in the car, long trips. In okay. The car too, so okay. We've tried about every natural thing we could and we want to see if maybe there's different types of patches or something or whatever recommendations you have, maybe. Okay. So nothing necessarily upcoming, you're just tired of it. Well, we just you can't. Have a trip coming out. Well, we do, but we just have not been able to bring her on trips. All right, we'll do. Thank you so much. Whew. Good thing we left the car running. We're back. Uh, I think everything went well for the most part, right? What did they come up with? What was the solution? Um, I need a, a patch behind Oops. my ear. Yep. It's like some kind of anti-nausea medication. So, a uh, question for you guys. Have you guys ever tried this patch thing? Does it work for you? Does it work wonders? We've tried everything naturally for Audrey, and then we've also done Dramamine and all these things. So, if this works, though, this could be life-changing, right? Yeah, if this works, I'm going to be able to enjoy all the trips, eat all the food. Yep. Ride on some rides. Ooh. Might actually work for rides, too. Bet you would. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, let's roll on with the day and try to stay warm. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Holy guacamole. Well, we've officially hit winter, as some would be saying around here. I'm actually out in a coat because <laughs> she she ain't playing. She ain't playing today. It's sticking around. It's sticking around for, uh, for a minute. The things that we love to do at this temperature, if you guys have not seen it yet, head over to my TikTok. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that we're kind of over there. I'm, I'm kind of dabbling in it. To be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the platform to begin with. I don't know. I'm still trying to feel her out <laughs> if we like to produce content over there, but I guess they're starting to make it so you can post horizontally, which is kind of more my speed and long form content. So maybe anyway, so go follow us over there uh, at TikTok. And uh, you could see some of the, one of the fun little things that I did uh, when it was uh, 42 below, 42 below. The things uh, that we try not to do during this weather is when it is this cold, we try not to go anywhere, to be honest, because things break at this temperature. Uh, you get stuck out in this for very long. It's not going to bode very well if you're not prepared for it. So we try not to go out, but sadly today we have commitments and we kind of have to go out. So. Bert and the girls headed into town. We're actually taking Audrey in um, to see about her uh, motion sickness and trying to fix that a little bit um, to get some prescription patches behind the ear. Um, I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that and uh, we think maybe we've tried so many different avenues and we're thinking that this might be the best. So we're gonna give that a shot. Evelyn's heading into gym. She's got another meet coming up, all the things. Making sure that we are 
uh, not going out unless we necessarily have to, but sadly, like I said, we had to go out today. I'm staying home with the two youngest. Do you have to go out in this uh, particular weather. We always make sure that we have cold weather gear, obviously. Um, blankets a lot of times we'll have, making sure we have all the things for our cars, emergency preparedness stuff, right? Always making sure our cell phones are charged, you know, making sure you have a charger in your in your car to be able to always make sure that that's ready to rock and roll. Another thing too is that we always make sure that if you ever see anybody on the side of the road, like they're having car trouble or they're just kind of sitting in their car and their car's not looking very good, you always stop and make sure that they're okay, offer them uh, a phone to be able to get someone to help them, things like that, because of these temperatures, uh, it doesn't mess around. It doesn't take long for things to go bad super, super fast. We are so stinking grateful that we actually have a garage here. That actually makes a really big difference. Now, it is a little bit hard on your car to go from warm to like extreme cold. That does uh, play an effect on it, but for it to be inside and kept warm, super, super grateful. We're only able to keep one of our cars in the garage right now. Bert's truck is currently plugged in because that was not going to be starting today. Always need to be kind of alert on like the heating that we have going on, you know, like making sure that our boiler is functioning correctly, making sure that we keep the wood stocked and keep that kind of going because it's, it's actually hurting like right now. So as long as I've been out here, uh, it is, let's see. So three minutes, three minutes and 18 seconds is how long I've been out here. And, uh, they are, they're really just starting to, they're starting to hurt. So anyway, uh, just a couple little th things that uh, we have noticed living here for, I've been here since I was nine, Bert is born and raised. So yeah, but with, with the cold weather, you get beautifulness, like beautiful, clear, crispy, like gorgeous trees. It's absolutely stunning because generally there's no cloud coverage. And that's why it's so cold. Beautiful, clear, it's like a blue sky today, guys. I'm ready. This is when the Alaskans are like, ah, why do we live here? Another reason why a lot of us leave and go on a little vacation during this time, because it's so brutal. Just functioning in this type of weather, it makes everything harder, slower. It sometimes hurts, like it's just, it's just hard. Thankfully, it's generally only for like a little stint of time, which we're super grateful for. But man, man, if you're not prepared for it, it this is the type of cold where it hurts, where it hurts. So when you see us going out in like 20 degrees, 10 degrees even, and it feels like, oh, this isn't too bad because we've experienced this and we know that this is, this is cold. Anyway, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We're going to see if we can get this uh, door open. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. We're going to check in with Bert and the girls and uh, see how everything's going. And maybe when they get back, we're going to be just all just our life here in Alaska at 50 below. You guys suited up. Uh, my wife just got a Instagram message um, said, hey, this is a long shot. Uh, we normally watch your channel and we live in... Uh, uh, in Wasilla and we just moved here to Alaska and we came up and our car won't start to get it winterized before they came here So it sounds like they're stranded. They've tried lots of things. So I've got DeWalt heater loaded up here We got some duct work. Let's go see if we can bail them out and uh, I think they have kids too I guess they're in an Airbnb that they're kind of trapped in anyway. Let's see if we can go be a blessing let's see if we can go save the day Okay, good. You got a nice charger. That's great. All right, so there we go. We're gonna slide this under here. We're gonna hook the heater up here. We're gonna blow some heat up and try to get it on your block. So if you want to get that into place there, um, I think that that looks about right. I just don't want to melt any wires. All right, get a little heat rolling here. Let's 
see it then. Be careful, we will melt the tarp, so. Huh? Okay, yeah, go hit the switch there. There we go. That's what we want to see. Place, there we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. It started? Yeah. Woo! Running. Right oh. on. Awesome, Good job, man. man. Yeah. Teamwork. Love yeah. it. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Whatever it's working out. I don't know. You need me to jump it. Hallelujah. Yeah. This, would you replace this? Like, like is that something well, that a new battery? I definitely take a brush to it for sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sitting here with Courtney and Brandon. <laughs> so cool. And now, here you are. Uh, you got a running vehicle. Yes. Oh, so Thank happy. Goodness. So happy. So grateful. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, you're right. You. What was cool is, uh, like, you guys said you didn't really know anyone here, but you felt like you knew us enough to be able to reach out. So that yeah. is, that's humbling for us. So thank you for that. No, thank We've you. watched you guys for years now, for a few years. And since, what is it, 2021? Yeah, and we were just completely blown away when you got back with us. And here yeah, we are. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you guys thank so, you much, so much. And uh, look, we're going to let this run for a bit. Yeah. Definitely need to get it winterized. I don't know. I mean, we're going to find out if hopefully your block's not cracked. So... Yeah. I mean, we're running, so that's a good sign, yeah. right? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take and it. And then, uh, if you want to keep it, definitely, definitely get this thing winterized, though. So. Yeah. Do. All right, let's get this tarp off, and maybe let's let's watch this for a bit before cool. I take off. I want to make sure this thing is running good before we leave. Yeah. And then, do we need to get you some food? You said you might need some food. Oh, it's. Yeah, I'm sure. I can run you guys to the store if this thing is not running well, okay. so yeah, we can yeah. do that. As long as this is running, we'll be all right. Hello. Sure. All right, I got the uh, got the rig running, so. You got it running? Yep, I got it running. Wow, good job, babe. You guys are good to go, huh? Yeah, thank you. All right, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Lord bless you. Yeah, thank you. Good to go. Uh, pretty crazy. I felt bad for them. They they called like wrecking companies and towing companies, and no one would run. It was too cold. They said they might be able to get out tomorrow, after about eight hours or so. And uh, she's like seven months pregnant. They have four kids. They're running out of food. So I'm glad it all worked out and it and it started up. I was concerned that maybe the antifreeze wasn't at the right uh, ratios, but it looks like everything warmed up. Everything's good to go. So with that, uh, let's just roll with the day. not the actual big race kind of missed that one earlier but this is the uh, little sprint 80 miles they're gonna go to um, two rivers the community center there they're gonna do an eight-hour layover there before they head back this way so we're gonna cheer them on as they come this way I think number 24 is in the lead might be a girl I think her name is Jennifer yeah, I'm excited roughly 50 below zero so this is a pretty intense pretty intense race yeah I don't know if it's quite 50 but All right, well, it it's probably about 42 well, it was 52 below zero this morning, so. It's definitely a chillier race today. Woo! Good job. Good luck. Are, you, are they still live on this room? Here, say hi to the vlog, everyone. <laughs> Nordale, yep, you're in Nordale. Good job, good luck.
guys, well, we are home, hunkered in again by said fire. Sister came over. She came over, and we've been doing some workouts, pumping the weights. Right, Casty? Right, hey, Nick? That's Casty. That's Casty. That's right. Say hi. 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 Pumped the iron as best as we could. Um, we're trying to get fit. We have two weddings coming down the pike, so we're trying to get ready for them. Miss Cobb, guys. Oh. Oh, kind of sore. <laughs> kind of can't move. I've also been watching what I've been eating as well, so I'm really hoping that I get nice and shredded. Guys, it's the first of February. It's time. We, we probably should take her down. It is time. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It is time. It is time to take it down. It's be all fun. of your awesome, amazing cards, all the stories, all the neat experiences that you guys have shared with us. Just, oh, Livy, Livy started prematurely taking those down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just absolutely love it, but it's like really not Christmas anymore. Yeah. Give us some ideas, guys. Do this again, which we absolutely love doing it. Uh, should we keep it all in this room? Or should we try to expand out and like take whatever's in there and like put it like out here, go up this wall, maybe over in out? here? I don't know. Give us some more ideas. Is there something different we should do? We're always open to ideas. So anyway, that's what we're gonna be doing. Family, we keep all of y'all's cards. Every bit of them. So all the y'all's cards. It looks like we just got another Christmas card. Just showed up. We just got another Christmas <laughs> card. From Canada. Ah! At least I think it's Christmas. Maybe it's not. It's Christmas. Thank you. Oh, if they were saying thank you for the beautiful Christmas card. Oh. <laughs> thank you for the beautiful Christmas card. I was surprised that it was in my mailbox. It's so beautiful. Even my family said it was a beautiful family, and I say the same. It made me so happy. That is so nice. This is going to go in the box as well. We are still going to try to get, I know I think I have a couple in on my desk that came in when we were in California that I still need to uh, get out into the mail. If you have not received your Christmas card, it should still be coming. So into the car, into the box it goes. Thank you guys so much for all the amazing cards of our 2023 season of Vlogmas. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. You going now? Going now. Okay. Put all the in there. Put it on. Oh. Last year I. Come along, get a part. Uh, cold day, stayed warm, stayed busy, working on cards, all the crazy stuff. I've got to get up early tomorrow because I've got to go bring uh, dad in. A lot of you guys asked about my dad, so I'll have an update soon on him, but he is going to fly to Houston and get some additional checks. So I think so far things are positive, but we're gonna he's gonna get a second opinion and all this stuff. So Does he kind of start a little bit more treatment? He well, he's already been starting some treatment okay. here, so it's kind of getting a second opinion to see if we want to, I mean, right in the multitude of counselors, there's safety, right? So that's that's the direction we're going. So 
anyway, we'll give you an update as soon as we know with that. You guys are great. We appreciate each and every one of you, we really do. And literally, like, reading all of your cards and all the, like, it's, it's been cool to, like, really go back cool. and, like, revisit it and be like, oh, yeah. Or pull out some of our favorites or, like, yep. super fancy cards and, like, stuff like that. It's, like, super cool. Somebody said, I bet they don't read them all. Well, I bet we do. It might just take us a little Whoever bit. said that, okay. there you go. Take that. It just takes us a little bit sometimes, but we look, we definitely look at each and every card and just, it's awesome just to hear the things. Some of you guys send letters. The fact letters. that you guys took the time, your own money, time, and, and just wrote a note and sent with your pictures, like that's just, Super cool. I mean, because to a lot of you guys, we're just people on the internet, but like to be able to care enough to do that is, is shocking. So crazy. you're amazing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. YouTube channel. Beep.